Hello and welcome from the Helsinki underground. As you probably can tell, we are located in one of the metro stations here in Helsinki and plan is to head east to see the mall that's been there since 60s, see how it looks today, what stores they still have, maybe grab some food and overall see how is the the feeling there on a, on a Sunday so we have to take metro down to Itakeskus let's let's see the map we are we are right here in Sernainen and as I said we have to head east down to Itakeskus that in translation from Finnish means East Central. So what is it? One, two, three, four, only five stops. So the metro is approaching. Itakeskus metro station. From here it's a few minutes walk so I guess I'll see you see you there. Sunday so very likely that there's not gonna be many people but let's still check it out arrived here in Bufos shopping center it was quite short walk actually from the metro station and let me let me show you the, the size of the, the center itself see it starts from over there and goes all the way down to the bottom. The Pujos was opened in 1965 and at that time it was biggest shopping center here in Helsinki and actually in all of the Finland. Let's go have a closer look. Already you can see some kebab places. Also at time of the opening the store had its first sliding stairs as you as you can see now they're not really functioning but apparently 40 years ago it was still on so here you can see the grand design it's in round shape
the plan is to walk around a little bit as I said at the beginning see what kind of stores they have and then later on as I haven't eaten yet grab some kebab or some other type of food Salam foods Okay Let's go down the first alley Some money transfers Wow Beautiful As I was reading some information about the Pujos, it also stated that here in the middle of the center there was a fountain, fountain that as you can see is not there anymore but that would have given a, a nice, nice look to the place having this all round structure with the fountain in the middle. As I suppose this is the old original building. Later in the years they added some structures, but this is this is the original right here. Some cosmetics. I guess this must be the new addition to the whole setting. Some teas. Alright. Let's head down with escalator that actually doesn't work. Some Iraqi sweets from Baghdad. <laughs> okay, we have our first encounter with the men from the Pujos Center. Let's go down to the center of the structure where where the original fountain supposed to be located but before that check this out these must be some quality meat zem zem Shopping center. Beautiful, beautiful. See again this round structure. Imagine how innovative and modern this building was in uh, 
early 60s and 70s. We are standing here in one of the balconies of the Pujos Center and as you see from the previous images and videos that right here you can feel the presence of Arabs and other Asians and the reason behind is that when it was built in 1965 for around 20 to 25 years the business was booming but then around 90s this big structure that you can see over there was built and it is Itakeskus shopping center or in short Itis at that time many store owners here in Pujos felt that they might have more opportunities and more business right down there at Itakeskus shopping center so they just left their stores and moved down there and what happened was that ever-growing popular Arab or other foreigners from Asian countries population that was growing rapidly here in Itakeskus decided that they could take over this Pujo center and that's exactly what happened and since early 2000s this place was occupied mainly by by foreign businesses <laughs> afghanis halal Nothing else than halal, of course. Dodge money transfers, I suppose that that could be Indian. Nasib shop, coffee, sweets. Some pure luxury. Some latest kids fashion with most definitely original Chanel dress. Head in here in our Bailo restaurant and get some food. Iron right there. Soup.
Time to eat. The whole meal cost me only seven, six, sorry, six euros. That, if you compare with prices in other parts of Helsinki, is only small fraction because you wouldn't get a meal cheaper than 10, 11 euros. So, if you can get this with unlimited drinks and salad bar, that is a true bargain and Dwarma was really on point. Shukran, kiitos paljon. And just like that, as my battery is dying, the small excursion has also came to an end. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you some other time.